hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel blender Ustad. this is a quick video where we will be uh, explaining the easiest way to create your hand model so uh, normally the hand model is a little hard but uh, i will show you the easiest way so let's get started so first of all select all and delete that you can see all the keys here so that's easy and i will put a reference here i have a reference and you guys I will put a link in the description of this source images so actually you can use it it's the simple this image you can also find google you can just snap this thing and you can google that but i will put the link in the description make sure that okay so i come up to the front view and now just drag this image and i want to have this one so come up here drag it here s and x minus one to just flip the image and now let's put it here grab it a little backward and now shift a add a plane add a cube sorry and now scale it down grab it up go to the edit mode select these two make it here make this one here this one can go here this one can go here now let's go with the next tool and let's cover this thumb finger so like this and now select all extrude again this one will be here this one will be here now let's just select this one uh, we only need this one and we have to extrude it so e to extrude select this one here uh, also uh, make sure to select it in wireframe so it's select the both side and select these two g i'm just g and grabbing that these are the basic keys you can uh, if you already know that is fine if not you can just see all the keys here so it's just like grabbing and that kind of thing and i added a loop cut and with the final one you can just extrude and extrude and scale okay that's it for the thumb finger now we can just uh what we can do is that we have to select this one this face and then control plus and now come up here to the uh, proportional editing scale that with the y something like this and we can move it toward uh, the y direction but before that let's do the connected only and we can right shift right click here make this one to cursor and now come up here to this view and just rotate that a little we just need a slight turn here cause this will make that uh, where it's placing so yeah this is a little helpful now add just control r add three loops here so we have like four sections now come up here uh, add the go to the vertex selection and now select these two vertex in wireframe and just make it here so it's it's a kind of like curve here that's what we need and now come up here to the top view select all these four faces uh, we don't need normal extrude code no, normal extrude it will do it like this so what we need is that alt e and then extrude individual faces and then just grab it like this now select each of it scale it i'm just scaling and rotating this thing and map it up here okay now select all and come up here make it individual e to extrude and then s to scale so we do it a by once that's the key that's how to do it okay and now control r control r control r control r and right click to just move it to the default position select all with alt uh, shift and left click so we are selecting the whole loop and now double g to just slide that bring it up here and we are already in the individual so we can just scale that and you will see it work like this uh, we need some adjustments like this one can be here and yeah other than that it's looking pretty much fine now add one loop here one one loop here in the middle so that these are the joints we will use that and before that let's delete these faces we don't need it now select this now grab it to the y direction so we have some space here 
and now we can just select these tools bring it up to the back right and one more thing that we can do is to select this one and come up here to the proportional editing again again it's connected only and scale it with y increase the circle a bit so we get something like this and now what we can do is that again we can move this one to 3d cursor and we can slightly rotate that so that's how we get the hand feeling okay so that's the pretty basic if you want you can use this thing but we will go a little deep and that won't take long it's very simple very easy so uh first thing we need here is that we need this loop so this loops make the hand really smooth this is important okay that's the thing we need and now what we have is that one loop here one here one here one here i'm just control all left and right click so we can go to the restores like this and now start start like matching it more so this will go like this this will go more like this and this will go something like this. just try to like match it from your side this that's the first one we need curve here of course okay this now as you can see is uh we have a lot of area so we can just select the whole thing move it up here and now whole thing here whole thing here like this Yeah, that's the uh, thickest finger that we have. Okay, that's what we have. Now to create the nails, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, we have to just select these uh, faces. Maybe you can just adjust this a little. I think it can be like this. Little up so we don't get too much space. Now select all. These four faces, these twos, these twos, these twos and these twos. And now E to extrude like this and now select the top of it and now it is root and we can just alt s to scale it outside and now let's add a subdivision modifier one more and you can just right click make it shade smooth and as you see that's how we can create a hand in very very simple way uh, you can do just more detailing by just like grabbing this and making things more good so you can do this that's totally up to you but this is the basic way Uh, the last thing that i really like to do in hand is that select these groups and make it scale so this make up a nice variation uh, for the hand and it looks more realistic and more good so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video